Good evening. My name is Richard Bernier with Sound Off Bunkum. As you know, Sound Off Bunkum is a live show every Thursday night at 8 o'clock here on URTV here in Asheville. I have a special guest here today where we are going to spend 30 minutes with a Congressman Howard Coble. Welcome. Richard, good to be in Buncombe, in the land of the sky. Land of the sky. Well, you know, you're from the 6th District, That's representing correct. the folks in 6th District. Uh, folks out there may not know where the 6th District, what areas do you cover? Richard, unlike the 11th District, which is which are many counties, mm -hmm. I, I have only six counties. I have Alamance, which of course is Burlington, Elod University. I have a third of Guilford County, Greensboro and High Point. Guilford is one of the few counties in North Carolina, Richard, that is located in three congressional districts. Mm -hmm. I have about almost half of Davidson County, uh, Thomasville, Denton, and then North Davidson, the Midway area. I have uh, about almost half of Rowan County, virtually nothing in Salisbury. But the, Ro the Rowan portion of Canopolis, uh, Chatter Grove, Rockwell, Granite Quarry. And I have the entire county of Randolph County, Ashboro, and Richard, the home, if you will pardon my immodesty, the home of one of the finest zoos in the world. And finally, the entire county of Moore, again, pardon my immodesty, Richard, the golf capital of America. That's got to be Pinehurst. Pinehurst and Southern Pines and the entire county. So I have two counties in their entirety, Randolph and Moore, and portions of Alamance, Guilford, Davidson, and Rowan, a rather compact district geographically. Mm -hmm. As I say, unlike the 11th, which goes from here to the Tennessee border, and yes. I guess to the South Carolina border. It does, actually up in the uh, Murphy area. Yeah. Yes, and, and, and it basically... Georgia. Yeah, Georgia that's right. That's well. right. Georgia as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, let me ask you this, kind of get a little bit of background, more background. Uh, how many terms have you been our congressman in the 6th District? Well, I'm in my 12th term. 12th yeah. term. Okay. Uh, Elected in 1984. 1984. Well, let me ask you this. What's the, it's an election season for our president, uh, candidates that are running. What's the, uh, atmosphere up in Washington, D.C. right now? Presidentially dominated. Oh. I, I mean, I, I think most activity will strike that. Well, I guess I should say it that way. I think most activity in Washington is going to probably take second stage to the presidential election. I, I think that's not unlike yes. the situation in all presidential years. Mm -hmm. And we, we can see just that we've just had a taste of it. Yes. It's been going on for about a year now. We've got another year to go. Yeah. And we just wrapped up what we've had the Iowa caucuses. Uh, we're getting ready to go now into uh, uh, well, Massachusetts. Well, New Hampshire tomorrow. 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 Right. Yeah. Uh, to be followed eminently by Michigan, South Carolina, and then, of course, Super Tuesday. Super Tuesday. And you know, Richard, it's conceivable that by the end of Super Tuesday, perhaps the nominees may, uh, may be have been identified by that time. It, it very well could be, Congressman. And it also, it may, if, if it was to stay a tight race, it could always go to the actual convention and be it, decided on the it, floor. It, that, that, that would be the very first time in history, if I'm not bad mistaken. It would be a long time since that happened, yeah. <laughs> now, now uh, since you've been a member of Congress now, uh, which uh, venues do you uh, set on? Uh, uh, what boards and so forth up in Congress do you set on? I set on two committees. Committees, uh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, transportation. The Transportation Committee has jurisdiction over virtually every form of transportation in the country. Airports, bridges, railroads, the Coast Guard, uh, waterways, I think I left one out. I don't remember. Bridges, railroads, airports. Airports. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the Judiciary Committee has jurisdiction over the Justice Department, FBI, of course, uh, the Patent and Trademark Office, Copyright Office, uh, gov uh, con constitutional amendments. If any, any bill that would propose to amend the Constitution would be assigned to the Judiciary Committee. Mm -hmm. uh, antitrust legislation involving uh, judiciary. Uh, the two committee, the two subcommittees on which I sit are the Crime Subcommittee 
and the intellectual property and courts subcommittee at, at Internet as well. Well, you know, I do want to go back and, and talk more about the political season as far as presidential, but before we go there, and I'm sure a lot of people want your opinion on those issues, or at least your thoughts well, on that. Well, my opinion, Richard, might not be any more authentic than your listeners uh, Okay, your well, viewers. we'll see. But let's go back to uh, one of the committees that you're, that you're on, uh, the transportation, in particular airports. Where are we standing right now in our or airports throughout the United States? Richard, I think one of the most salient domestic issues will involve vehicular congestion, symbol for dash, airport congestion. Mm -hmm. Those are two issues that, that negatively impact productivity. And as far as the vehicular congestion is concerned, it results in excessive consumption of gasoline at $3 a gallon now, $3 plus in some places. Uh, so those two issues need to be resolved to at least mollify what is a problem. I mean, congestion, road rage on the highways, mm -hmm. road rage in the, in the airports, those are two issues that, that must be resolved in my opinion. And on the, that's on the transportation side. Infrastructure, the tragedy, Richard, that occurred several months ago in Minnesota. The bridges is not unique to Minnesota. I'm sure that I'm talking to people in Buncombe County and other counties in Western North Carolina. There are bridges in your district uh, over which you will cross this week, Richard, that were probably unsafe. Bridges in the congressional district I represent, no doubt, bridges that are unsafe. So the infrastructure is going to have to be addressed more firmly than it has been in, in recent times. And and this is not a, the Democrats and Republicans alike can be blamed for this, for not having stayed on top of it better than we have. Well, would that come into play? You know, I, I'm sure funding has been available for infrastructure, but will some of that uh, funds turned into a special port project in, in districts instead of fixing a bridge? You know, uh, fixing a bridge is, you can't see it. Yeah. You can drive across it every day. But to have a greenway or a bike track, you can see it, feel it, and, and even uh, participate on it. So was the funds available for that area to, to, to take care of those bridges? Well, that, that's a good point. In, in, in many instances, probably so. Mm -hmm. Now, most of the on-the-ground decisions are made at the various state capitals, Raleigh in the case of North Carolina, and well, it should be. I mean, I think the people in the Department of Transportation in Raleigh probably are in a better position to determine what routes would be taken, what bridges are to be repaired mm -hmm. and brought up to speed, rather than, than we in the Congress. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope that the monies have been properly marshaled, but you can't always guarantee that. Yeah. Well, we definitely, in my opinion, I think uh, infrastructure should be our number one priority as far as taking care of the safety uh, for the citizens, not just North Carolina, but also throughout the United States. I concur. You know, uh, and, and so forth. Well, let's go more back to what's the headlining news here. We're going back to a presidential race. The Iowa caucuses, you know, that came out. Any surprises on either side of the ticket there? What's your opinion of what happened? Well, surprises, Richard, as to the margin of victory. Uh -huh. Obama and Huckabee, I think most all of us who, who followed uh the day-to-day -day reporting from Iowa pretty well came to the conclusion that it was inevitable that Huckabee and Obama would be the Republican and Democrat nominee respectively. Mm -hmm. I did not, however, foresee the margin of victory as being so convincing. Mm -hmm. uh, well, now, now, the chosen one on the Democrat side, it appeared early on, was going to be Hillary Clinton. And I still believe she may well be the, the Democrat nominee. Even, even though Obama blew her doors off in Iowa 